What's up guys, today I figured I would go over how to calculate and cut rafters. I've been doing a lot of roof framing lately, so uh, let's pass some knowledge on, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so when we're talking calculations, how we're going to come up with the length for our uh, rafter is... We'll just use easy numbers here. So let's say this building is 10 foot wide from here to here, okay? Half of that is going to be where the ridge is. It's going to be 5 foot to that ridge, okay? So now you are going to take that 5 and multiply it by the roof pitch that you have. So, your framing square here, it shows you all sorts of different uh, calculations here, okay? You want to go to this side, common raptor length per foot run, okay? So whatever rise your roof is, you're going to go to that number. So let's say we're doing a 6 on this one. Go to 6, the very first line is 13.42. So we take that 5 times 13.42 is 67.1 inches. Okay, so then you just cross that out, times this by 16, that equals 1.6, which rounds up to 2 sixteenths or 1 inch. So, 67 and an eighth from the peak to the outside wall, okay? So now we have our ridge. Depending on what you're using for your ridge, uh, it's gonna depend on your calculation. Anything above uh, a three, or a four I believe, um, the ridge is not gonna be a structural member, so you don't need to really go anything above uh, one ply, two by 10 or whatever. Uh, so let's just say we're gonna use a one, or a two by 10, just one ply, okay? So we'll have a single two by 10 right here. Half of the two by 10, it's gonna be three quarters inches because the two by 10 is inch and a half wide, right? So we're gonna take that 67 and an eighth minus three quarters of an inch. 66 and three eighths is where your bird mouth is gonna stop. That's gonna be the outside point of this wall. All right, so I only have a uh, little two foot piece of two by eight here that I'm gonna cut this rafter out of. So I'm gonna make a smaller example. Let's say you're making a birdhouse with a gigantic roof. Let's do uh, two foot wide, three eighths wide. Oh no, you know what? Let's go three foot wide. So that would be one and a half feet to the center, right? So one and a half, let's say we do a six pitch on this again, times 13.42 would be 20.13. Times this by 16, it's 2.08. So it would be 20 and 1 eighth. That's from the peak to the end of your bird's mouth, okay? We're gonna minus three quarters of an inch because we're gonna say that we have uh, two by six as our ridge, or two by eight as our ridge, so we'll minus three quarters of an inch because that is half of the width of our ridge, okay? So then we're gonna be at 19 and three eighths. So let's go ahead and lay that out. I'll show you guys how to do the bird's mouth. All right, so excuse all the uh, sawdust here. Doing some prepping for a job. Let's uh, start off first with our six. So what you do, put your square flat along the edge, twist it on the pivot point until your six runs along the side of the board, okay? Got that. Alright, so now 
you have the top of your rafter cut, how it's gonna sit, okay? It's gonna sit just like that. So now, from that point, from the top, our number was 19 and 3 eighths, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to do your six again. I should have got a little bit longer of a board. Okay. Now that you have your six, your bird's mouth basically just comes squared off of this. So if you're landing on a two by four wall, you want your bird's mouth to be three and a half inches, okay? If you're landing on, say, two two by eights or two by tens sandwiched together, your bird's mouth's only gonna be three inches, okay? So you just take that right along your roof pitch and slide it down until the edge of the board meets with the three and a half mark, okay? So this, as if you're landing on the two by four wall, you're gonna have three and a half. And if you're landing on a beam, you're gonna go to three inches, like this. Okay, so let's just say we're landing on a two by four wall. A lot of people overcut the rafters. I really think it's, it's silly. Just get a jigsaw, it makes it look so much better. Uh, and, it just it it doesn't take that much longer. You know what I mean? It's it's silly. Get a handsaw if you have it, an oscillator, a jigsaw, whatever you need to finish the cutout. There's no no reason to have the overcuts. No, oh, sorry guys, I'm bumping you around. Now, let's imagine that, uh, this is our ridge. Slide onto that two by four wall. Bingo, bango, you just cut your first rafter, okay? So obviously I didn't have much of a tail here, but anytime you're doing your tail, you just pull from the edge of your bird's mouth. This is gonna be a seat cut to make this plumb, okay? So this is gonna be actually a plumb cut against the beam or wall. So you can pull directly from this point to uh, measure out your overhang. But that's basically it guys. It's not too hard as long as you get your math correct. Um, pretty simple. The framing square is gonna definitely be your, uh, your friend during this. You can frame a whole house with just a framing square pretty well. So uh, definitely something you're gonna wanna get if you're doing any sort of carpentry work. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I can discuss different types of roof pitches or if you're doing a hip roof or uh, any sort of different variation. But uh, let's talk. Comment down below what you want to see and uh, look forward to it, guys. Bye.